If you are not yet ready to accept a Shakespeare authorship problem at all as real, that's perfectly okay. Those who believe in a historical authorship issue, did they ever ask themselves the following question? What eventually may be the cause for the non-solvability of the Shakespeare authorship controversy for almost half a millennium? It has something to do with the human unimaginability of a double falsehood in the authorship problem. A first falsehood lies in the fact of two existing, most authentic but completely dissimilar contemporary depictions created between 1618 and 1622 of a poet genius named Shakespeare or Shakespeare. The one is the bust of William Shakespeare in the Trinity Church of Stratford. The other is the copper engraving of William Shakespeare in the first folio. Can this really have happened? depictions of the two most crucial authentic historical documents within the same years had the name written differently? Shakespeare at the Stratford Monument Shakespeare on the title page of the first folio? This final immortalization of the poet genius name after William from Stratford was already buried, means there was a conspirationally designed deception that should become obvious sooner or later. A second falsehood has to do with another even greater human unimaginability, the true poet genius fate being dead and alive at the same time. A third state between alive and dead, that is, having lost his identity and name, and since then banished writing under multiple pseudonyms such as Shakespeare, Drayton, Chapman, Davies and many others. You should realize that the idea of a multiple pseudonymity of the true Shakespeare will be ridiculed 
as long as overwhelming contextual connections of these authors are not sufficiently understood and known. Thank you.